Hello everyone, this is Said Al Fatah from AOU Rock, uh, the team who's uh, presenting Egypt at uh, Robocop Asia Pacific 2024, and this is my team. This is Omar Sabur, 21 years old, AI student uh, at Arab Open University, started programming Python in uh, three years ago, uh, learning the robotics at STS uh, in six uh, months ago. Uh, hello, my name is Amr Magdali. I am 20 years old. I am studying at Arabo University. I have learned advice on social programming from three years ago. Uh, I am uh, learning robotics at STS from six months ago. Hi again, I'm Saeed al -Fattah. I'm 21 years old. I'm currently an AI student at Arab Open University. Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Hazm al Turkey. I am 23 years old and I am currently in my final year at the Arab University studying computer science, majoring in artificial intelligence. I began uh, learning Python three years ago, and for the past three months, I have been training in robotics programming with STS. Recently, I qualified for the finals in an international robotics competition. Our mission in Co-Space Rescue was to, to hit the higher score by collecting as much as color as we can. But the real challenge wasn't in this area, but the real challenge was to dodge the danger area uh, and the obstacles uh, without getting out from the borders. And now let's see this game video uh, recorded for, for our robot while is moving. Um, it, it's move it's moving very well without uh, hitting any any obstacles or getting in any danger area um, at the same time uh, he, he never uh, goes out from the the borders so uh, let's see the video and figure out he it needs a, it needs a cyan color to to get the super object yes he's collecting it right now he he already collected it and it's depositing it already deposited and he's he's trying to to go to the super object but uh, there is some obstacles so we can see how yes he, he he treats well with the obstacles and we can figure out by seeing the video that that's the robot is using a very good technique and uh, a very good algorithm to dodge the the obstacles and uh, the danger areas so what are the strategies and uh, the uh, innovate solutions uh, we used in our code first thing we we used a star algorithm uh, we used it to calculate the shortest and the most efficient path for our robot, <clears throat> A star evaluates uh, both movement cost and uh, estimate distance um, that enables uh, to the robot to navigate uh, dynamically and uh, reroute uh, when obstacles uh, arise. Uh, the second thing we, we used is BID algorithm is to control the, uh, the obstacle dodging uh, to smoothly uh, dodge the obstacles uh, we we did it uh, in in our robot PID. Uh, this allows the real time adjustments uh, to the robot's speed and direction, ensuring st uh, uh, stability and uh, precise control when avoiding. Uh, in this presentation, I will briefly explain part of my work with my team in robotics. This part, how to use ultrasonic sensor for obstacle detection. To detect obstacles, I used an ultrasonic sensor that measures the distance to objects. However, obstacles avoidance is not just about finding a clear path. It's about determining the optimal path. My approach combined PID control and the A-STAR algorithm to enable the robot to follow walls efficiently. The BID controller works by calculating the error between the robot's desired angle and its actual angle, adjusting continuously to minimize the, that error. 
This ensures that the robot maintains a smooth and accurate obstacle avoidance. And we used uh, AI tools in our code. Um, for example, um, like machine learning models were applied to improve the robot's behavior by learning from sensor data and optimizing its decision making and obstacles uh, avoidance over time. And at the end, I'm very thankful for, uh, for my team and my coach for knowledge sharing throughout our RoboCup journey. We prioritized knowledge sharing to enhance collaboration and uh, innovation. Uh, we got things done, we practiced together, and uh, we failed some, uh, sometimes, uh, and that's the journey. Bye.